you guys. So I am back um, answering those frequently asked questions that I get um, on social media and via email. And today I'm talking about why I think it's okay to keep your day job um, instead of quitting everything and becoming an artist. And I know a lot of you out there would probably be listening to this intro going, huh? What's this crazy lady talking about? Why would anybody choose keeping a day job over being an artist? And hang with me. Um, I made this video because I get asked so much. Um, how do I quit my job? Um, how did you quit your job? What's it like quitting your job? What are the best ways and steps I can take to quit my job and be an artist? All those types of questions I get asked all the time. And I think that a lot of people, especially us creatives and artists, really feel like we want to be creating and making art all day long because we were we were created for that. We feel like we were meant to be doing that. And I think a lot of people, myself included, because I'm going to tell you why with my own history and story, I think a lot of people see um, from the outside looking in how creative and relaxing and passionate and dreamy um, being a full-time artist looks. And I want to kind of break down that myth in today's video, as well as give some of you out there who might be stuck in a day job, who might not have the means or the ability or the budget to be able to walk away and be a full-time artist. I wanna give you some hope as well as just a little encouragement that where you're at is okay. It's okay to have that job. It's okay not to be a full-time artist. It's okay not to walk away from it all um, and start your own business. And I'm hoping that these three things I'm gonna share with you guys in this video maybe give you a little bit of encouragement. So just a little background for those of you um, maybe that don't know my story or who are new to my platforms. Um, my name's Alyssa Burke. I'm a full-time artist and I've been running my business. It'll be 10 years in July, I believe, that I've been running this business on my own. No other jobs, that type of thing. Um, but it took me a really long time to get to that point. Um, I've been making art my whole life. Um, I have two parents who are self-employed artists, so I grew up around that. Um, I went to college and studied fine art and got a degree in fine art. Um, and I've worked a gazillion creative jobs and not so creative jobs for other people. And the whole time, my whole history, all I've ever wanted was to work for myself and be an artist. Um, but it took me over 15 years to get to that point. I am 42, um, so I spent a good portion of my 20s and 30s searching, trying, trying all sorts of different things, um, moving jobs, trying to get more creative jobs so I could fulfill that, that creativity in me so I could use my art degree. Um, and nothing was clicking for me for many, 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 many years. And I spent a good part of that time being really unhappy, um, feeling unfulfilled when I went to my day jobs, sitting in a cubicle, sitting in front of a computer. Um, I just wished and dreamed and hoped to be able to paint all day or to sell my artwork or to do something creative all day long in order to pay the bills. But nothing clicked for a very long time. I had lots of side hustles, side gigs. Um, I was able to do all kinds of like freelance work and have have little art shows and be in a gallery or sell my stuff in a store or have retail opportunities but I was never able for a very long time to find something that clicked for me um, that could pay the bills and uh, the result was a lot of unhappiness and dissatisfaction and I will say I spent a good part of that time with a lot of ups and downs of feeling just incredibly dissatisfied, unfulfilled, bitter angry, um, really questioning, you know, why I have this thing in me that even needs to be creative or make art when I can't figure out a way to make that my job and my lifestyle. 
So um, when I was finally able to kind of start building a business um, that eventually took off, it just took a long time, um, I eventually was able to walk away from my day job and it was everything and more that I had expected. Um, whenever I talk about it, I get, I get like the hairs in the back of my neck stand up and I get chills because it was one of the most profound moments in my life because I had spent so many years working towards it, wishing, dreaming for it, and in that moment of putting in my notice and walking away and my coworkers throwing me a going away party, all that stuff, it was everything I had hoped and dreamed for. Um, and I, I don't regret one single minute of my entire journey, even the length of time that it took. But what I want to do today is share with you guys who are maybe not at the point where you are able to walk away from it all and pursue your creative passions. And I've tried to narrow it down to three things. Um, I can get lengthy in these videos because I like to talk, but I've tried to narrow it down to three things that for me were the most important part. And even looking back in hindsight, I kind of wish I would have really um, embraced a little bit more. So I'm hoping today you guys, those of you out there that are stuck in a day job but you feel like you're an artist on the inside or you've got a side hustle that's creative and you want it to go full time, I just hope that you take a little bit of encouragement away from these three things, three reasons why it's okay to be where you're at right now. Okay, number one, um, having a day job can actually play in your favor when it comes to learning from it. Um, I majored in painting and printmaking in college, and while I took all kinds of classes, um, the thing that I didn't have a lot of experience in was kind of like the business side of art and just life in general as well as discipline, as well as maybe things um, like on the computer, that type of thing. I spent my major creating art. I didn't spend it like learning how to create spreadsheets and budgets and documents um, for a business. So when I started working day jobs, um, I started really getting this whole new education. Um, and I can honestly say at this point, after 10 years of being self-employed, if it wasn't for the length of time I had in my day jobs, and if it wasn't for the stuff that I was doing all day long, which at the time I hated, I don't think I'd be the business person and the entrepreneur and the artist even that I am today because I took away a whole new kind of education from all those day jobs, even the ones I hated. And I had some bad day jobs that I was miserable in. But even those ones, looking back, I can find little pieces and tasks and information that I actually gained from those experiences that I use in my business every single day. So instead of looking at that job as the thing that is holding you back from being happy, instead of looking at it as the thing that is keeping you from being creative, it actually might be the thing that is forcing you to grow and learn new and different skills that eventually, if you are able to walk away, you may be able to implement into a business or into your idea or your creativity. Um, I just know when I look back, I wish I would have appreciated and realized that more. I, I, I know that I had these moments of that during those times, but I wish that I would have been more grateful for the education education I was getting in interpersonal skills, in um, marketing and branding and computer work and organization and even just discipline. I wish in those moments of my miserable day jobs in my cubicle, I would have maybe just been more thankful for getting a new kind of education that I could apply to um, my creative goals and my creative hustle that I was trying to build on the side. So those of you stuck in those day jobs, I just want to encourage you to look at that job as a learning experience. Look at it as, as your education that you're getting now and find things in that routine that maybe you can really pay attention to or pull from. Um, when that kind of clicked with me finally in my own journey, the last five years of my day jobs, it clicked for me and I started to just use up everything I could get. I was working for those five years in marketing. I started just 
just soaking in as much as I could on branding and marketing and the way that you organize those things. And um, I really feel like my awareness and my appreciation and my willingness just to learn from that really, really helped me not only build the business that I have today, but it helps me be just a little bit more happy and content in that day job instead of always wishing and dreaming for something better. Number two, and this is probably my biggest, best little piece of advice I can give when it comes to keeping and holding on to that day job is a day job, even one that is not fulfilling, even one that is not meeting your creative needs, um, can be a safety net for really cool, big, big things. So the common sense way that it's a safety net is you are earning an income. You're not having to do anything new. You're not having to quit it all and go out on your own, um, but you are earning an income. You may have health insurance or vacation or sick time, that kind of thing. And there's a safety net within that. Um, when you go out on your own as an entrepreneur, you don't have a safety net unless somebody has given you um, a loan or something like that. Um, but you're usually having to hustle really, really hard. But if you've got a day job that you're fairly comfortable with and you know what to do every day to get the job done um, and you're earning a paycheck, there's a lot of safety in that. And for me, when I was in my day job, um, I, again, was miserable and had a very bad attitude for, throughout many years in the different jobs I had. But when things started clicking for me, I started seeing that my job could be the safety net that enabled me to take risks with my art ideas and building this side business. So for many, many years, I thought that being an entrepreneur when it came to art would look like maybe getting my big break. You know, it might look like a book deal or um, a craft show or a gallery or a representative or getting a deal with a company and then it would all be like I could quit and walk away. And I had so many failures with that mentality um, that I finally, like I just threw in the towel. I'm like, okay, I get it. I don't think the route to Alyssa Burke quitting her day job is going to be getting a big break. So I started just kind of rewiring my thinking and I kind of went more the route of going, okay, if I'm not looking for my big break, well, I can just have fun with exploring and playing around with new ideas, maybe things that don't pay any money right now, um, but I can kind of explore them and see if I like them. So I went from trying to get into galleries, trying to, um, let's see here, get in with companies to work, to book deals, um, to applying to be like um, guest artists in certain scenarios. I kind of tabled that stuff and I started kind of dabbling in other things um, that didn't pay me any money, but I had my day job so I didn't have to worry if I was doing things for free. So I started um, teaching. I had a friend of mine who invited me to teach in her high school classroom. Um, so I did some projects for a while with her students. Um, I started teaching for a nonprofit, um, a women's nonprofit, where we just got together and I did free workshops for them. I started teaching college students at the college I worked at um, on the side after hours. And what I discovered while I didn't make any money doing that stuff is that I really enjoyed teaching in a kind of a non-traditional way. And that gave me the idea and the courage to start applying to art retreats, which you do get paid for. And without having that safety net of my day job, I never in a million years would have had the time or the ability to experiment with that aspect of creativity. Um, again, when you are self-employed, you gotta go where the paycheck is. You have to do the things that make money so you can pay the bills. Um, and if I had been an entrepreneur at that point and selling my art in galleries, I don't think I ever would have explored teaching in these non-traditional workshops and in a variety of different ways. But because I had my day job, I had this safety net. I still had my paycheck every month, so my husband and I could pay our mortgage and we could do the stuff we needed to do. Um, but at the same time, I didn't have to make money off my creative stuff. 
I was just exploring and figuring stuff out and I was taking big risks. Teaching was just one of those things. Um, I was doing work for free for certain venues and types of opportunities. I was experimenting with my arts, so was making a lot of art without the pressure to sell it. And the ability to do that, the only reason I had the ability to do that was because of my day job. Now that approach takes a lot of discipline and a lot of energy because typically you're doing these things in your time after work. But I was motivated. I was hustling. I wanted to figure those things out. And this looked like a span of years for me. But every day I went to my day job. And during that time I had two jobs. And after that day job I went to my second job. And then in between in my free time I was just exploring. I was taking risks. And I was really figuring out things that I never thought I would probably do. Coming out of school, I thought I either need to go to grad school or I need to get into a good solid gallery to sell and show my art. Um, but after I had the ability to explore without pressure because of my job and the safety net it provided, I began to discover the pathway and the route that I would then take to the business that I have today, which is very much built on teaching. And I never would have figured that out um, if I hadn't kind of changed my thinking and seen that this can be a safety net while I explore what these other avenues could look like. Okay, number three, um, another reason and the last reason why I think it's okay to stay in that day job and you don't have to feel stressed to walk away from it is that being an entrepreneur and owning your own business is literally the hardest, most stressful job I've ever had. Wouldn't change a thing, but in the last 10 years of building my business um, and having a lot of success and a lot of failure and having to hustle hard, I have discovered that my all my day jobs, even the worst ones, even the ones that were really challenging and hard for me to get through every day, were some of the easiest things I've ever done compared to what it means to grow a good solid business that pays the bills, supports your family, um, and has longevity. Um, so while it's so romantic and dreamy to walk away from a cubicle job. Um, I will say being an entrepreneur is so hard. What I've seen after doing this for so long is that it really takes a certain kind of personality, work ethic, um, discipline in order to make being an artist or a creative be your full-time gig. So while those day jobs a lot of times are not ideally creative. Um, they might not be tapping into your passions. Um, I really believe that unless you are ready to just whew, be really stressed out and work insanely hard, um, it might not be the right time to walk away from something. And in the meantime, you can do things on the side. There's a wonderful thing called a side hustle and if you want to be an artist but you can't quite quit your day job yet side hustle till you can figure out if you like the way that it feels because having to sit at a craft show for a weekend and needing to sell X amount of dollars so you can pay for your expenses and pay your bills and pay the money to get home or launching an online class that you're hoping does well but it bombs or applying to a retreat and traveling across the country to go teach there and expenses being way more than you thought or maybe the class isn't filled and you don't make as much money as you expected, writing a book and it not selling a lot, um, all those things really can affect your happiness, um, your lifestyle, the way that you pay your bills. And sometimes having that side hustle, sometimes really experimenting again with your safety net can kind of give you an idea of what it feels like to be a full-time artist. So I just want you guys to know and keep in mind, um, grass is always greener. Um, but today I can honestly say like last week I was standing in the kitchen with my husband going, 
Oh my gosh, I am so tired of working. I love making art, but I just want a break, but there's no break yet in sight. And I stood there and I go, some days I really just miss my day job. And I'm never gonna go back to a day job as long as I can do this. But I will say that this lifestyle of being a creative entrepreneur, having to make art for a living and be creative for a living, have new ideas for a living, is so incredibly stressful and I think a lot of people view art and a lifestyle when it comes to art as being super zen and relaxing but this is probably the least relaxing thing I've ever done but for me I'm doing what I know I was made and created to do and I know how I can manage my stress after 10 years of doing this and I kind of know the drill and the formula for what I do every day but it's incredible incredibly hard work. So I want you guys to know, those of you that are sitting in a cubicle, maybe you're watching this from your cubicle like I used to do when I sat in mine and I'd sneak and do stuff on my computer for my art business. Um, I want you to know it's okay to be where you're at right now. It's okay to have a day job. It's okay to never quit your day job, even if you are an artist. It's okay to have a side gig and a side hustle when it comes to your art. It's okay not to rush the process. Um, it's okay to make that job work for you. And I hope, I hope, I get asked this so much and people want like this easy formula for how you do it. And there is no easy formula. It's a ton of work. Um, and if it's meant for you, then you're gonna, you're gonna reach that goal eventually. But I want you guys watching who are feeling that pull um, to quitting your job and being a full-time artist, just to know if it's not gonna happen soon, it's okay. It's okay to be where you're at. There are good things that will come from even staying where you're at. It took me over 15 years um, to quit my job and it took me another three to build a sustainable business. Um, and while it's sustainable now and I'm pretty confident in what I've created, it's still a lot of work. And while I wouldn't change anything, I do know that feeling of sitting there at a job that you are not happy with. And I just want you guys to know today, it's okay to be where you're at. Just start small and start looking at the small things you can do on the side to start leading yourself down the path that you are working towards. And if your big goal is to walk away, do it. Um, but just know that it could take longer. It might not be as easy as you think, and there's going to be lots of dead ends. And if in the meantime you're stuck in that place that you're not happy with, you still have the ability to maybe take tiny steps towards those big dreams and goals.